are you? Longtime resident Libby Day. Got a lot of oncoming traffic. Is an avid cyclist. One of my favorite things about this neighborhood is how well positioned it is within the city. She liked to do more of it around her neighborhood. But we're still working with no bike lanes. And to work, but she doesn't dare. And so this is the part of McCullough that really is quite dangerous because the cars coming over the hill, coming into the neighborhood, really don't have good line of sight. And as a cyclist, you're trying to pump up this hill so you're going slower than you normally would be. So even if you're pretty quick, you're not moving with the flow of traffic. There are no north or south bike lanes that connect the Shearer Hills Ridgeview neighborhood along McCullough, San Pedro, or Blanco to areas with bike lanes. I would love to ride my bike to McAllister and get on the Salado Creek Greenway Trail, but getting across 410 is, you know, taking your life into your own hands. Neighbors have asked the city for bike lanes for more than a decade. It was a recommended priority project in the 2011 Bicycle Network Plan. The lanes start to narrow as you get up into the neighborhood right here. Before different elected District 1 council members have failed to deliver on that request. We've done a lot of communication already. A lot of things have been communicated and continue to be communicated but at the end of the day, we're looking for action, and we've been looking for action for years. The city is scheduled to update storm drains and add sidewalks along Barbara Drive next year. By 2027, road improvements are planned along Shady Wood Lane from El Monte and Avenue to Jones Maltzberger. That same year, VIA plans to begin its rapid Green Line service from the airport through San Pedro into downtown and the Mission Concepcion area. Everything that you need is super close, but there's some challenges when it comes to getting around. So for me to turn, if I have to wait for traffic, I'm just sitting in the middle of the road with no turn lane. That's why Day, always gotta time that one right, has learned to take the longer and safer way in and out of her neighborhood. Unless you are a very brave cyclist, um, McCullough is not really your friend once you get out of Almost Park. Thank you for watching KSAT. If you're on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest San Antonio news and weather.